major HIV vaccine trial halted after failure. Pharma giant Johnson & Johnson announced yesterday that it was pulling the plug early on its latest trial after it became clear it wasn't proving effective. Janssen, Johnson & Johnson's research arm, partnered with the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. A spokesperson for the NIAID said, quote, it's not the outcome we had hoped for, unfortunately. The development of a safe and effective HIV vaccine has been a considerable scientific challenge, but we will learn from the study and continue forward, end quote. HIV mutates rapidly and is skilled at evading the body's immune system. As a retrovirus, it can hide in the very DNA of our cells. This makes it impossible for our own immune system to locate the virus. For this reason, attempts to produce a vaccine have so far failed. Although this latest formulation shows some efficacy in earlier trials, that effectiveness was clearly not good enough for experts to consider releasing it to the market. Um, absolutely, of course, a disappointing story. Um, of in the in the search for a vaccine, of course, there are going to be you know good days and bad days. I think in this, and there's been a lot of a lot of movement forward, but this is of course a step backwards, which is which is difficult to hear. Yeah. But they did they did double down and say we're still committed to this. So um, we reported at Core News tonight when they announced uh, the study was going to begin, and I remember that night in conversation <clears throat> there was such uh, such optimism. We have been through since 1982. I did uh, the Fauci interview uh, last month. There, there was such, uh, there is such optimism that we can see the end of the tunnel. The reason why this news is a gut punch is if we're going to get to 2030's goal of no new trans, uh, transmissions, this is a key component piece yeah. of it. It's just a key component piece. Um, uh, Janssen is not the only one uh, that is in race for vaccine. Um, but it's interesting that we have been through the process of facing the pandemic and the incredible medical, uh, almost miracles that we have seen in uh, Pfizer and Moderna, et cetera. And I think a lot of it, I think it caught a lot of people by surprise. It caught, caught me by surprise in that, no, 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 they're going to get it. Um, this is going to be successful and we're on our way. And, and I think that's the, the gut punch of, of this news. We've lost so much and so many, uh, and HIV is something that we just desperately want to put behind us, and it just keeps on holding yeah. on. The thing is that the way I'm looking at it also is we, we, like you said, we've traveled so far with this, but and we're so close, and I think that that's what makes it even more painful because we're almost there and we just can't get there. But uh, I think that, like they mentioned, um, with every trial, they'll they'll learn, and eventually we will get there. Yeah. It also one one last thought when I when I hear language medical uh, researchers use language that uh, HIV is hiding in uh, the 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 DNA of the cell uh, when I hear that it it's triggering for me because I go back to eighty seven and eighty eight and eighty nine of going my goodness if you contracted there was no hope and. When they use words like that of how insidious this disease is like that, that it's hiding inside mm -hmm. the cell and the DNA, it just reminds me of the hopelessness that we felt in 87, 90, 92. Um, and it kind of, in a way, strange way, brings me back to that feeling of hopelessness, that this disease is insidious. Yeah. So um, And fear. And fear, I mean, yeah. Very yeah, very frightening. Yeah, very frightening. Very frightening. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.